Will we be able to feed a global population of 10 billion people? This level could be reached between 2050 and 2100. Food production needs to rise 60% over the next 40 years. Climate change could cause global temperature rises of up to 3.5 degrees Celsius by 2050. Looking into this is a task for STOA, the Parliamentary Science and Technology Options Assessment Body, which provides independent scientific advice to the European Parliament. STOA carries out projects that assess policy options from a scientific and technological perspective. STOA's project, Technology Options for Feeding 10 Billion People, concluded that European agriculture needs to become sustainable throughout the food chain. Six priorities were identified. 1. Conserve Europe's productive resources, including land, water, infrastructure, a skilled workforce, and well-managed soils. We should keep agriculture strong so it can contribute more in future. Farmers must be protected from volatility. Agricultural practices must change, like the use of large machines in crop production that result in soil compaction. 2. Produce more with fewer inputs. STOA's December 2012 workshop on precision agriculture discussed how technology could increase yields while decreasing fertilizer use thus reducing financial and environmental costs. 3. Encourage innovation and best practice. This can help European agriculture stay globally competitive. A workshop on the impact of EU GMO regulation on agricultural biotechnology research suggested that biotechnology had great, currently unrealized potential, to contribute to more effective agricultural production. 4. Reduce demand throughout the food chain. Current diets are not sustainable. EU consumption of meat, dairy products, eggs and fish is about twice the global average, and producing these foods has a high environmental impact. But changing behavior is not easy. As noted at the December 2013 workshop, how to feed the world in 2050, Europeans do not want to give up traditional food and are fearful of science and technology. Food wastage must be reduced. A European Parliament resolution in January 2012 called for the 89 million tons of food waste generated in the EU to be halved by 2025. For more information, watch STOA's video on Reducing Your Food Eco Footprint. 5. Align bioenergy policies with strategies on food production and biodiversity. EU policies promoting renewable energy have inadvertently increased biofuels produced using food crops. The study Recycling Agricultural Forestry and Food Wastes and Residues for Sustainable Bioenergy suggested an alternative with a lower burden on agricultural land. However, it is uncertain what level of residues can be taken from fields or forests while maintaining biodiversity and healthy soil. 6. Support sustainable agriculture and combat threats to the food supply like climate change and overuse of fresh water. Stoa's study on sustainable management of natural resources suggested the EU should enforce its water priorities and that the common agricultural policy should encourage beneficial practices. In November 2013, STOA hosted a dialogue between MEPs and the authors of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change report on the physical science basis for climate change. The report argued human impact on the climate is clear. If you want to find out more about STOA, please go to our website. STOA is now looking forward to continuing to serve European policy making during the eighth parliamentary term.